The film begins with an accidental encounter between Ng Xiong, a comic artist, and Bauer, his beautiful co-worker whom he deeply admires. As Ng Xiong nervously leaves his desk to deliver a love letter to Bauer, he accidentally bumps into her, causing both of them to fall amidst scattered comic sketches. Embarrassed, Ng Xiong apologizes for the mishap, but Bauer kindly checks on him instead and offers to help organize the scattered papers. Her compliments about his artwork make Ng Xiong flustered as he hurriedly gathers the papers, hiding the love letter he had intended to give her. As Ng Xiong explains his comic, which features Kung Fu masters traveling through time to the 21st century, their boss, Zhang Peng, interrupts them. He casually places an arm around Bauer's shoulder, invites her to leave with him, and carelessly tosses Ng Xiong's comic sketches into the trash. Moments later, Auntie Bing Shi, a kind-hearted cleaning lady, approaches Ng Xiong and invites him to the office kitchen. In the kitchen, Auntie Bing Shi gives Ng Xiong some advice not to waste his opportunities. Knowing that day is Ng Xiong's birthday, she hands him a small ring box containing a tiny birthday cake and encourages him to make a wish on the cake and express his feelings to Bauer. A while later, Ng Xiong attempts to slip the love letter into Bauer's bag, but a co-worker catches him in the act. The co-worker then accuses him of being a thief and even claims that Ng Xiong assaulted him. A commotion ensues as employees gather around Ng Xiong, including Bauer. Despite Ng Xiong's desperate attempts to explain his innocence, Zhang Peng continues to accuse him. Fortunately, Bauer tries to defend Ng Xiong, but her words are misunderstood, leaving Ng Xiong feeling humiliated and angry. Even Auntie Bing sure intervened to convince them that Ng Xiong was not a thief, but instead she was scolded harshly by Zhang Peng. Later, Ng Xiong, drunk and disheartened, finds himself at a fountain in a park. Crying and enraged, he shouts at his boss, Zhang Peng, and calls out the names of the Kung Fu masters from his comics, wishing they would come to his rescue, especially since it's his birthday. In a moment of desperation, Ng Xiong opens the ring box given to him, by Auntie Bing Shi. Suddenly, something extraordinary happens. His comic papers begin to swirl in the air, and Ng Xiong collapses unconscious in the middle of the park. Unexpectedly, Ng Xiong appeared in Master Huang's dream, transformed into a strikingly handsome merman. Shortly afterward, Master Huang woke up to find himself on a movie set. Confused by his surroundings, he encountered Chun Jun, and the two fled from the director and film crew who wanted to cast them as actors. Luckily, they managed to escape. While on the run, they shared the strange experiences they had both had, dreams of meeting an adult merman. They also realized they had traveled through time to the year 2018 after spotting a piece of paper with that year written on it. Later, they came across Yip Man and Master Hua, who were fighting over food with chopsticks on a rooftop. When Master Huang tried to introduce himself, Master Hua abruptly fled, fearing that his secret relationship with Lady Ling Mu, Master Huang's lover, would be exposed. When Master Huang brought up the handsome merman from his dream, the group discovered they had all experienced the same dream and received different sets of numbers. Chun Jun got 509, Master Hua got 841, Master Huang got 152, and Yip Man got 33. Before they could discuss further, the film crew found them again, forcing the four to flee on horseback toward the city. Along the way, they found a restaurant brochure that reminded them of the merman from their dreams. As a result, they decided to visit the restaurant, taking their horses onto the train with them. At the restaurant, their unusual behavior drew the attention of the other diners, including Bauer, who happened to be eating there. Master Huang then queued for food, but since they had no money, the waiter challenged them in a game Kiss a Partner to complete a task to earn a free meal. After successfully completing the challenge and receiving their food, Bauer approached their table. She kindly offered to treat them and, noticing how poor they seemed, gave them a bundle of money for travel expenses. Not long after, a thief suddenly snatched the money Bauer had given them. Fortunately, the four masters managed to catch the thief and followed him to the hideout of a gang of criminals. A fight broke out between the Kung Fu masters and the gang. The master's incredible Kung Fu skills overwhelmed the gang, and the robber boss admitted defeat. When the masters explained they were searching for someone, the boss offered to help decipher the numbers from their dreams. 
It turned out the numbers were the phone number of Ying Xiong, whose phone had been stolen by one of the gang members on the subway. After retrieving Ying Xiong's phone, they checked his messages and learned that Bauer had invited him to a wushu contest. With the help of the robber boss, the four masters headed to the venue of the wushu contest, determined to find Ying Xiong. At the event venue, the robber boss bribed the security guards, allowing the group to enter through the back entrance. Because of this, they successfully made their way inside. While heading toward the main stage, Yip Man stumbled upon a box labeled as belonging to Master Huang. Upon opening it, Master Huang discovered a love letter address to Lady Ling, Mu's secret lover. Shocked, Yip Man immediately informed Master Huang about it. However, Master Hu tried to stop Master Huang from reading the letter, insisting they should prioritize finding Ying Xiong. Desperate, Master Hu even knelt and hid himself, as the person mentioned in the letter was in fact him. Fortunately, Master Huang remained unaware of this revelation. The group resumed their search and finally spotted Ying Xiong beneath the stage, eavesdropping on a conversation between Bauer and Zhang Peng. At that moment, Zhang Peng was boasting about his invention, an intelligent kung fu outfit. He then handed a toy to Bauer and remarked that Ying Xiong was unworthy of being with her. Hearing this, Ying Xiong was enraged and wanted to confront Zhang Peng, but Master Wang held him back. Not long after, Chiao, Zhang Peng's mentor suddenly appeared. Chiao then pointed out that there were skilled kung fu practitioners under the stage, except for one person who didn't know kung fu. Before his men could apprehend them, they were unexpectedly thrown back, causing a support beam on the stage to collapse. Seeing his men defeated, Chiao stepped forward to face Master Huang and the others, leading to an intense battle. At that moment, Ying Xiong was stunned to see the characters from his comics come to life. Amid the chaos, the stage collapsed, and Zhang Peng was injured by falling debris while trying to protect Bauer. Realizing she had come to the event not for him, but for Ying Xiong, Zhang Peng admitted defeat. At the same time, Ying Xiong was overjoyed, feeling his wish had been granted. The Kung Fu masters, however, urged Ying Xiong to make another wish to send them back to their original time. Master Huang, in particular, was anxious to return and confront Lady Ling Mu about the love letter. However, Ying Xiong refused. Instead, he asked the masters to teach him martial arts so he could win the Wushu contest and claim the 30 million yuan prize, putting an end to people calling him poor. Persuaded by the robber boss, the Kung Fu masters reluctantly agreed to train Ying Xiong. The next day, training began. The masters prepared sleek, stylish suits, looking sharp and dashing. Soon after, Master Huo was the first to teach Ying Xiong, demonstrating his technique, the invisible strike. Next, it was Master Huang's turn, guiding Ying Xiong and identifying vital points to unlock hidden strength. After their training, the group headed to the hotel where the Wushu contestants were staying before the competition. As they were checking in, Master Huang noticed Bao entering the hotel with Zhang Peng and his group. Seeing this, Master Huang immediately approached Bauer to thank her for helping him and his friends by giving them money. Ying Xiong tried to hide, afraid to confront Bauer. However, Master Huang urged Ying Xiong to be honest with her. When Ying Xiong finally gathered the courage to speak to Bauer, Zhang Peng interrupted, showing Ying Xiong a phone call on his screen. The call was from Auntie Bing Shi who tearfully begged Ying Xiong to let go of Bauer, explaining that Zhang Peng had lent her money for her son's surgery. Overwhelmed, Ying Xiong decided not to say anything to Bauer. Later that evening, while karaokeing with some girls, Ying Xiong appeared sad. Noticing his mood, Master Huang encouraged him to find the courage to be a real man. However, Master Huang suddenly fell over, too drunk to continue. Determined, Ying Xiong disguised himself in women's servant attire and went to see Bao was swimming in the hotel pool. Approaching her in the water, Ying Xiong nervously confessed that he hadn't stolen her belongings but had tried to slip a love letter into her bag. To his surprise, Bao revealed that the letter in her bag was actually her own, which she had accidentally mixed into his comic papers during their earlier collision. Even more shocking, Bao admitted that she had idolized Ying Xiong for years. She had gone out of her way during college just to catch glimpses of him. After graduating, she even asked her father for permission to work at her cousin Zhang Peng's office so she could be nearing Xiao. With this confession, 
The two finally shared a kiss, sealing their mutual feelings. Some time alter, the day of the Wushu contest arrived. At that moment, Yip Man and Chun Jun completed their registrations without issue. However, Master Huang had an injured hand from drunkenly breaking a glass, and Master Huo was still battered after a hotel ceiling collapse revealed his relationship with Lady Ling Mu. Enraging Master Huang When it was time for Master Huang and Master Huo to register, Master Huang walked silently toward the ring, his eyes vacant. Unexpectedly, he challenged Xiao, announcing that he wanted to be beaten mercilessly. Shortly after, the match began, with Xiao landing blow after blow on Master Huang, who repeatedly got back up, begging for harder hits. Master Huang even asked Xiao to finish him off. Seeing Master Huang endure such a brutal beating without fighting back, Master Hu jumped into the ring and attacked Xiao. The fight devolved into a chaotic brawl, with the rules changing to a battle royale where the last one standing would be declared the winner. In the midst of the chaos, Master Hu confessed to Master Huang about his relationship with Lady Ling Mu. He explained that Lady Ling Mu considered Master Huang a coward and that the breakup letter had been meant for him. Knowing this, Ying Xiong encouraged Master Huang, telling him that if he was a real man, he must have the courage to declare his love for his woman. Inspired, Master Huang regained his determination and vowed to help Ying Xiong win the Wushu competition. Unexpectedly, Master Huang and Master Huo agreed to join forces to support Ying Xiong. With renewed energy, Master Huang rose to face Xiao. However, Ying Xiong soon received shocking news Bao had been kidnapped by Zhang Peng. As a result, Master Huang, Master Hua, and Ying Xiong rushed to rescue Bao, only to discover that Yip Man was an imposter. Meanwhile, in a secluded room, Zhang Pong wore his advanced kung fu suit, which he claimed was unbeatable. Chun Jin then stepped forward to challenge Zhang Peng first, but was quickly thrown back after a few strikes. Next, Master Hua took on Zhang Peng, but, despite using his special techniques, was also defeated. Finally, it was Master Huang's turn. Before the fight, Master Huang instructed Master Hua to take care of Lady Ling Mu if he didn't survive. Despite his best efforts, Master Huang was easily overpowered by Zhang Peng's advanced technology. When Ying Xiong tried to save Master Huang, he was also beaten by Zhang Peng. Even without martial arts skills, Ying Xiong refused to back down. Fueled by his love for Bao, he taunted Zhang Peng, revealing that he had kissed Bao at the pool the night before. Enraged and jealous, Zhang Peng attacked furiously. At that moment, Ying Xiong remembered Master Huang's teachings about enduring strikes to specific pressure points to gain strength. Using this knowledge, Ying Xiong guided Zhang Peng's blows toward the points Master Huang had mentioned, leaving only one final strike remained. During this time, Master Huang urged Bao to cheer for Ying Xiong. Bao then shouted her desire to marry Ying Xiong, giving him a surge of confidence. Hearing this, Ying Xiong charged at Zhang Peng and took a blow to the crown of his head, collapsing to the ground. Believing he had won, Zhang Peng removed his high-tech mask. However, he wasn't defeated. Rising with newfound strength, Ying Xiong explained that the last strike had awakened his hidden power. However, Zhang Peng's advanced suit was unable to detect this strength. Despite this, with overwhelming determination, Ying Xiong unleashed a relentless assault on Zhang Peng ultimately defeating him and rescuing Bao. With Ying Xiong's mission accomplished, the Kung Fu masters lingered for a while, reluctant to return to their own time. Eventually, they traveled back to the past. Upon their return, Master Huang, Master Hua, and Chin Jun met Lady Ling Mu. Surprisingly, instead of choosing either Master Huang or Master Hua, Lady Ling Mu revealed her true affection was for Chun Jin, Master Hua's student. Outraged, Master Huang and Master Hu chased after Chen Jin, bringing the film to a humorous and action-packed conclusion. Moral lesson from the story, falling in love might get you heartache, but falling with comic sketches might summon kung fu legends. Always remember, clumsiness can sometimes be your greatest wingman.